Hello guys, I thought I would uh, show you guys how to play Breath of the Wild on PC. Um, in order to play, we're going to need a couple things. We're going to need a Wii U emulator, because I don't, there's, we don't have a Wii U, or we don't have a Switch emulator yet. And we're going to need a tool called a Wii, Wii U USB helper. And then a few other things I can't link you are going to be um, a t Wii U title key site um, and you need that in order to use the Wii USB helper I can't link you to it it's a quick Google search so it shouldn't be too hard but quick disclaimer as well if you want to play this game you pretty much have to have like a really beastly computer it's it's very hard to run I get stutters I can't really play it but I thought I'd show just give it show everyone else because I couldn't find a video on how to do it so I had to learn through like posts and stuff like that but anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to start by, start off by getting the uh, Wii U emulator called Simu. In order to get it, we're going, I think the current version runs it really like a lot better. It's called Simu 1.7.3D. It was released March 9th. Um, and the way Simu works is, um, or at least with their, their releases, is they release a week early on their, if you're a donator and you need, you need the most current version in order to run Breath of the Wild. I think it will come out on March 18th, so it's just a couple of days, but if you want to get it now, you have to become a patron, you have to pledge $5 a month to them, and you get the download links. I think they also have guides, and I'm pretty sure they'll, they'll help you out as well. So, um, After we get the Wii U emulator, I already have it downloaded. We need to get the Wii USB tool, or helper. We're going to come here, I'll link this as well, as well as the Patreon. And you just want to hit download, I'll download it now. And I have to go through this link. Sorry. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna close this out, but we're gonna open this real quick and we'll start do all this. Okay, so I'm just gonna make it to the desktop to just make it easy so everyone can see. Okay, so um This doesn't normally open like this. Um normally it asks you like where you want to store your games and all this other stuff. But also, this shouldn't be. But, um, I've done this before, so that's why. But um, it asks you what you what region you want to go to. You want to make sure you hit the European region because the game currently is more stable in the European region over like USA. But I'm not sure about the Japan, but European is also English, so you just want to make sure you select the European region, and that's where you want to paste your. You want to get a link for a title key site. It's just a quick Google search. You want to paste it there. It will ask you about it. You'll know. You'll see the prompts. And you want to paste it there, and then you'll get access to all these games to download. And once you paste the title key site, it will start loading, and you'll see all these games that are not uh, downloaded. And you just want to type in like either Zelda or Breath of the Wild. Let's type in that. It's not caps. And you just want to add it, and you just want to hit get it. It'll ask you if you want to like an update, and then DLC. And so the game's around 13 gigs. And then you just hit download games. It will start downloading. Um, I'll just fast forward through, just fast forward this part for you guys, so you guys don't have to watch me download 13 gigs. Shouldn't take too long though. So, okay, guys. Uh, now that you can see that we have the games downloaded, we have the games, the DLC, and the update downloaded. So now, um, what we can't, what we have to do now is we have to set an extraction folder, which is down here, in order to uh, convert it into a playable file for the Simu, or the Wii U emulator. Um, this takes way longer to, than the download does, so I already have it. But I'll, it's basically you just um, you hit set extract folder or whatnot. Let's just do desktop, I guess, and we'll just make it easy. And then we can just right click and then pack slash unpack slash and then our load line or CIA. And you just sit there and you wait. Sometimes it will like get hung or stuck and you just, um, what you can do is you can check the files, like the file names and you'll see, just check back periodically and you'll see it still working. But now that we're done with that, we don't need this anymore. So we can go ahead and close it. We're gonna do is we're gonna open up Simu. This is mine, and 
just going to open it. When you open it, as you can see, it says the Patreon build. We're going to hit File, Load. And so this is where I had it before. This is the raw game data that we just downloaded today. This, these are the games, the DLC and updates. But anyway, I saved them to here and I had it earlier copy. When you, the, these are like the load iron or unpacked versions. And what you want to do is you want to go to, uh, you want to load the nine gig one if because you want to do it for every single one. You want to do the update. You want to convert the update and the DLC plus the main game. So I think this is the. If I'm not mistaken. Just hover over it. Yeah, the see this is the the DLC. It also says unpack, like as you can see. And this is the two gig update, probably. And then this is the original game. So you want to go into the game, and we want to go into code. We want to find this RPX file, you king. I'm going to go ahead and run it real quick. And this takes a while for me. So I have an Xbox controller. I've already done this. It won't happen for me. But if you have an Xbox controller or you want to use your keyboard, it's as soon as it starts up, it's going to ask you. It's going to be like, hey, you don't have a Wii U controller connected or a Wii U gamepad. And then it's pretty simple to fix. You're going to go into options and then input settings. Um, it takes a while. At least on my end, it does. As you can see, I select Wii U gamepad, and then you can either hit controller or keyboard, and then I have my controller, so I have it mapped out. Um, I guess I could, I guess I'll link a copy of this if you guys have an Xbox controller. It's not really that hard. I just match the buttons A, B, and then left right stick, but that's all right. So here's the game, and then you obviously have a few options like full screen and stuff like this. But yeah, okay. See, as like I can't play this game at all. Like my PC just doesn't handle it. But if you guys can, congrats. Good luck for you. But if you guys have any questions, I can try and help you out in the comments. But I, I mean, I don't know too much about it. But I will try my best. And that's just that's how you run it. So there you go. Hopefully you guys followed along. Hopefully it was simple. But I hope that works for you.